All right, we're uh, welcoming uh, Ella Braden back this morning. She uh, is from the UW's Wonders of Physics program. And today we're talking, well, she will explain motion. So, Ella, explain, I have to read this, explain the technical definitions of motion and angular momentum. All right, well, the technical definition of motion is when you have a change in position over time. Okay. That's technical. And the technical definition of angular momentum is that it is a spinning form of momentum. If you were to go running at a wall, one of the reasons why that's not so fun is you have momentum. And that momentum has to stop. And in order to stop, the wall would have to put a force on you. So angular momentum is tied in with forces, mm -hmm. as is motion. And I brought some stuff this morning. Yeah, because to if you explain this just out of a book, yeah. you'd be asleep in a minute. But you have yeah. you have all these neat little props. You got a yeah. spinning thing, and then you got a basketball and a medicine ball. Yep. Okay. So the spinning platform that I have right here, mm -hmm. it's on ball bearings, so there's not much friction that we have to deal with. And would you be willing to take a step right back by the steps there? If I take this basketball, which yeah. doesn't have much mass, and toss you the basketball, <laughs> nothing really happens no. to me. Because the basketball doesn't have much no, mass. There's just, there's, yeah, there's right. pretty light. And the basics of motion are that to make something move, you have to put a force on it. And the more mass something has, the bigger of a force you have to put on it. So with the basketball, I don't have to put much of a force on it. And as my high school physics teacher put it, the little sibling law always comes into play. When you push on something, it pushes back on you. So I brought along a medicine ball. Okay. And the medicine ball, maybe you want to feel it, tell me sure. a little oh, bit yeah. about it. See, that's, yeah, that, that's, it, that's bigger. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. It weighs almost nine pounds. Okay. And so if I take this medicine ball okay. and give it a little toss, what happens to me? You start spinning. I start spinning because when I put a force on the medicine ball, it puts a force back on me, and that makes me start moving. It's just the basics of motion. We feel it every day in our lives. We're all experts in physics, actually. Really, that that's really that is interesting. That's yeah. cool. Now, what about the, the the bike wheel? Let's do so the, the bike wheel. wheel. I think we have a volunteer. Yeah, to come Andrew, come on out here. Andrew, bike from wheel our crew. With us. So the bike wheel is a great way to look at the interplay between angular momentum mm -hmm. and motion. So if Andrew takes the bike wheel and turns it on its side without it spinning, not much happens. How about the other side? Just to test. You want to be thorough when you're doing science. Did okay. anything happen? No. You're no, feeling anything? Not really. no. Nothing. Okay, nothing. So happened. if I take this bicycle wheel, bring uh -huh. it back where I can touch it, and give it a good spin, what happens now when you tip it on its side? Oh, look at that. How about its other side? That's science right there. That's science right there. And actually, <laughs> everyone who's ridden a two-wheel bike has yeah. taken advantage of this. You've been sure. on your bike and wanted oh, yeah. to turn a corner? Sure. You lean to the you side. You just lean. It's the exact same thing that's happening right here, is that the angular momentum, the spinning momentum of that bicycle wheel can go into making your own body move. You even do physics when you're riding your bike. You do physics every moment of your life without realizing it. Can we it. do that rocket thing? We only have yeah. a little bit of time. I just wanted to play Andrew, with the rocket. Andrew, thank you Thank you, very Andrew. Much. That's a All fine right. job. That'll be reflected in your uh, personnel report. <laughs> All right, and I brought one more thing for you to play with. Okay. So this is just a fire extinguisher. It's mm -hmm. a BC fire extinguisher, so you don't want to try this with your fire extinguishers at home. Okay. And if you go ahead, get a good grip on that okay. because it has plenty of pressurized gas in it, and squeeze the handle. Let's see what happens. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? I, uh, <laughs> I, was really, <laughs> I was nearly blown in the next week. I think that's pretty whole food girls. <laughs> that was cool. So what this does is, again, it applies a force to get yeah. something to move. You've got to put a force on it. When you that's put a, a force on it, it accelerates, as you force. did. That is really neat. Oh, All right. Thank you. Ella. See, you're doing physics every single day. All right. You know, and, and Ella does uh, tours. You go to schools around the state, mm -hmm. and you learn about these experiments. This is this is a great way to learn this stuff. Oh, My it, goodness. It's so much more fun than a textbook, like you oh, said. You yeah. Yes. If you want more information, you can go to UW Physics website, and we also have a link, of course, on our website, channel3000.com.